Hello guys and welcome back to this crazy week of AI. This week was absolutely crazy. Um, two days ago, ChatGPT4 announced and was brought out. Yesterday, Midjourney version 5 joined the game. So here we are with Midjourney version 5. I want to introduce you to this version, what it can do and what it really does better than version 4 or especially Leonardo AI, how version 4 5 works. And I also want to try out to make some pictures with you and want to show you how you can use it uh, yourself. So, but first, what did they announce? What version 5 should and could do? So, what is new with version 5 base model? It's a much more stylistic range and more responsive to prompting. It has much higher image quality. It's two times the resolution increase. That is definitely really, really hard to believe because version 4 was also really good. Uh, evolved uh, especially against other uh, generative uh, AIs but two times the resolution is definitely a high high increase so definitely nice to see this it has more than the detailed images and details are more likely to be to correct and less unwanted text uh, it also brings improved performance with the image prompting and it supports the tile argument for seamless tiling and also the aspect ratios which are greater than the 2 to 1 uh, aspect ratio so definitely nice to see this that they bring out brighter uh, aspect ratios for the pictures it also supports the IV argument where for the waiting image prompts versus text prompts so this ones uh, we want to try back later uh, if, uh, how they work and what they bring directly so and what I what they also say is that uh, version 5 uh, is um, a pro mode for the model of the model more or less and it's uh, unopinionated that then version 3 and 4 and it's so tuned to provide a wide diversity of outputs and be very responsive to your inputs. So that means uh, it's harder to use for you because shorter prompts may not work as well uh, as longer prompts so you need to be sure to use uh, longer prompts and describe more of your pictures if you use the version 5 so it works better with longer prompts. What you also had to keep in mind is that the version 5, which is out now, is an alpha test and there are things that will change. So you do not rely on this exact model being available in the future. They will be significantly uh, modified and then they will take the full uh, version 5 release. So this is the alpha phase of uh, version 5 mid-journey. And the next thing is that at the moment for this alpha phase, also the version 5 does not have an upscale button. So it only will give you the, uh, the one image by itself on which you click um, upscaling, then it will don't upscale image, but gives you only this image alone. So that's also you also you have to keep this in mind. That doesn't work at the moment. So what they also said in the last paragraph, version five is the final step. We hope to feel you all, and uh, you hope we hope you all feel the progression of something deep. So version five is only one step at their task, going to version seven which they announced so version 6 and 7 are going to come in the future also and maybe also more um, other versions. So well, how can you use version 5? You can use version 5 if you uh, are going for example into one of the generals and then you click slash settings, click enter and now you have your settings and here you can choose between mid version mid journey version uh, 4 and you click on mid journey version 5 and now you're using mid journey version 5 what you can also do for example is you now click uh, slash imagine and now you're imagining for example um, a fluffy cat playing with a ball and then you make a slash slash uh, v5 at the end and this will also give you the version 5 uh, statement so now you see it, uh, it's double times here because i clicked um, in version 5 in the settings and stated it behind but you can use one of these uh, versions to get your picture done in version 5 so that's definitely nice to see this so let's look what it comes out for a fluffy cat playing with a ball uh, as it states it looks don't looks like we come out with a ball here but let's see what it brings. There, there's the ball. So here we have the image and definitely looks really, really nice. If you look at these images, nice cat and a ball. So this is definitely short prompt, I would say. Uh, and it also works really nice with this. But if I give it now a longer prompt, this picture will 
become more detailed because the majority now knows more detailed sets normally and with version 5 this definitely works uh, a lot better with more details what I will show you now. So what I have here now is a picture of, uh, created with Midjourney version 4. I created it uh, and I used the short prompt, uh, three girls standing uh, in a row. And here's what Midjourney version 4 gives out. These are um, good pictures I have to say, but let's look at what version 5 gives you instead so you can see that there's definitely these two times increase in details and quality. So, and this is all the pictures which Midjourney version 5 gives you and you can see these look more naturally, they look like they're really uh, three girls which take a photo of themselves and these look really photorealistic. So, this is definitely crazy to see how the quality has increased from version 4 to version 5. If you look at these, these look more like paintings or something, they look not real, but here also a little bit uh, don't uh, got the head really right. So these pictures here definitely increased much in quality. And what we can also see at these pictures are that the hands are all nice. They have five fingers, they don't look strange or something, they look like normal hands. This is definitely really good to see. And also they look like women hands with small fingers and no, um, no additional fingers or something like this. Definitely an increase in details and also for these small things like hands or faces. The faces also look really nice and also uh, the women get different faces which isn't the case for version 4 where more likely the, the girls look more the same. Here we can see this also this woman generated with version 5 nice fingers. I have to say these look really really amazing. Also the face there's no strange additional, additional things or so. The mouth looks nice, the eyes looks nice, the nose so there's definitely, you can see this increase in the quality of the pictures. But what also is new is that the version 5 brings in more photorealistic and real pictures. As we can see it here on the left side we have version 4, on the right side we have the version 5. Version 4 looks more like a book or a painting and the version 5 looks like you got a real character here. We can also see this here on this picture where it should create a picture of Leia. And here we see it on the left side, it created more like a comic or a painting. And on the right side, it, created, it tried to create a photorealistic photo of her. So there's definitely this improve and also the switch uh, from version 5 to version, uh, version 4 to version, version 5 uh, in the understanding of how to create a picture and what the user wants. So it gives you more photorealistic photos uh, and real pictures. And what also is a nice feature of version 5 is that it can now handle more people as we have seen it with the three girls uh, the more people you get into pictures the complicated it gets and here for example we have a guy which stands in the background and looks uh, in a different direction as this girl which is in the foreground so there's definitely a, a really hot picture but version 5 nearly masters is amazing so you don't see that this picture is created with the AI it looks fantastic I have to say and this is really nice to see how version 5 already increased in such a short time um, in which it was developed. So really nice to see this. What I want to show you now is how hard this short term uh, I used for these three girls standing side by side for photo shooting um, really is. So it's really hard to get more than one person in the picture. Uh, and I tried it with this short prompt, I tried it with Leonardo AI with different models and you can see that it's really hard to get three girls in a row and then give them all the right faces. So for example here we have four girls, here we have three girls but a girl with two heads. Mm. Here we again have four girls and here we have three girls but if we look at these faces, uh, the hands or here three legs. So they are definitely really strange things with the RGP 4.0. I used also the Leonardo Diffusion model where it gets better because we have the three girls. But if you look at the heads or the hands are also not uh, really right. There are some mistakes, so this picture here maybe is the best from all, but definitely no comparison for the version 5 Midjourney. Here we see it, what happened here with your hands. So definitely really strange pictures coming out if there are multiple persons in a picture. So we see Leonardo AI for example struggles with this prompt especially. Multiple persons in a picture is really hard to get for generative AI, but Midjourney version 4 has handled it really good I have to say. But Midjourney version 5 is definitely on, an another, uh, on another level. So what you can see here is definitely at the moment the highest quality and the best pictures you can get 
in the AI game, I have to say, I've never seen such great quality in AI generated pictures. So I would definitely uh, now give Midjourney ahead instead um, in the game against Leonardo AI or in the game against SD. Also, I would say Midjourney version 5 is the best evolved picture generated AI which we have at the moment. You can use Midjourney version 5 if you are a subscription member. Um, you can only uh, use it if you're a subscription member or if you're a free trial, you can also change your settings. But you have to use a subscription if you are about your um, limit of creations or free creations, then you have to make a subscription. The, um, so let's make subscribe. So here we go to the subscription page. So and here we have the three plans which you can use, uh, with which you can use the Midjourney version 5 feature. There is the basic plan, the standard plan and the pro plan that's now in the monthly billing. If you have the yearly billing it's a little bit cheaper but I will use the monthly billing. I'm using currently the basic plan which costs me $10 a month. With this plan I can get a limited generation of 200 pictures a month and have uh, the general commercial terms, access to the member gallery and uh, optional credit top-ups and three concurrent fast jobs. You can also use a standard plan which gives you then 15 hours of fast generation and unlimited relaxed generation. And also a pro plan which gives you 12 concurrent fast jobs, stealth image generation and also 30 hours of fast generation. So these are the three plans which with which you can use a mid-journey. I would definitely go with the basic plan to if you're a beginner and only have to make some generations a month then definitely the basic plan is enough for you. I myself use it and I make uh, not nearly as 200 generations per month so definitely this is a good thing to go with so guys if you enjoyed this short video about midjourney version 5 i hope you can subscribe to my channel and click the little uh, bell and also the like button so you don't miss the upcoming videos in the upcoming video i want to use the ChatGPT 4 api uh, and show you how to use it on your own website or your own in your own app so have a nice day and goodbye